Hi everyone, I'm back with my Delusion Art Journal and today I'm working on new art journal and as the caption suggested, I am going to use a one step crackle medium which I have recently purchased from a little buddy. So the way the crackle medium works is I have to first put a layer of uh, gesso or acrylic paint. So I'm choosing to apply this uh, chalk paint in muted teal. Uh, which is again from uh, little buddy so that will be my first layer and um, I'm also hoping that it will going to cover uh, the uh, color which is showing in the seam because when chalk paint dries it dries opaque So I'm going to apply two layers of uh, this acrylic paint on the page. Love this color. And as you can see, uh, it has uh, dried opaque and I'm happy with how it looks now. Um, and once uh, the layer is completely dry, I'm going to apply this crackle medium on top of it. I am using a very dry brush for this, making sure that uh, I am not going to make any mistakes for this attempt. So I'm putting a generous amount of it on the page and then I will let it dry um, for a while on its own and then I will give it uh, some encouragement with the <laughs> um, heat gun. So while uh, that is uh, air drying, I have this focal image. Uh, this is a digital print from Digital Collage Club. Uh, I think it's called Vintage Lady and I'm doing the fussy cutting of uh, this particular um, image. So as you can see, I'm showing you how, uh, you know, your uh, craft blade should be used with a very light hand on this kind of uh, flimsy printer paper. Uh, I am not using a <coughs> uh, cardstock or uh, a heavy paper because uh, I don't want to bulk up my art journal page so that is the reason I'm using a copy paper <clears throat> and this is from Maypit I'm using this craft knife and uh, as I'm saying that uh, it has to be done with a very light hand because the moment you'll put a little bit of pressure uh, the page will start to uh, buckle under the pressure All I have to or all we have to do is to put enough pressure just to make a, uh, I would say impression on the back side that okay this has been cut. So what will it will do it's uh, once uh, all your image is cut it will not going to uh, loosen and you have to put some pressure onto the page like I'm doing right now and uh, it will come up like a puzzle piece it did not take much uh, time to and I think using knife is a much better option than using a scissor okay so now the medium is dried the crackle medium is dry it's just a little bit wet on the edges but I am okay with that so now I'm using this white color to put as the top layer on this medium and I prefer to work in this way because uh, I find it easy. So I will be putting a generous amount of this uh, white chalk paint on my brush and I'm going to put a thick coat on the page. I have seen that uh, this crackle medium works best when you just put one thick layer. If I try to put uh, another layer on top of it, uh, the crackles are not that clean and clear. 
so here's the page uh, it's already started to crack up and I'm loving all the results and now this is fully dried and I'm loving how those cracks have come up and as you can see in the middle of the left hand side uh, the paint was thin and I did a double coat um, just to make sure that it, it gets um, some coverage uh, the cracks are not that refined there so just to add some texture to the page I am going to use one of my favorite scripts to stamp and uh, this corn flower blue archival ink it's not too visible but uh, that's what I wanted I don't want to uh, I just want an impression I don't want it to be there and become the focus on the page I want it to be part of the background Now I want to add some extra texture on the page and for that I am using the Smodlik paste along with the stencil. If you like my videos, I would love to hear from you. Please do drop me some comments um, in the video. I definitely look forward to them. So I don't want to uh, overcrowd the page with the stencil. So I'm just keeping it out the, on the edges. And uh, for the rule of three, I'm just putting one more application at the right hand side, lower side of the page. Okay, I uh, encouraged heating, um, drying off the <laughs> modeling paste with the help of my heat gun and now I'm going to add some color to the page, trying to add some drama. So as you can see, the seam, uh, the color on the seam was not totally gone. Uh, it was showing as light pink. So I thought, okay, I can put some pink on the page so that it won't look uh, odd. So I'm using salt water taffy distress oxide. I'm starting with the light color and then I'll move on to the dark color. My plan was earlier to use a uh, paints gray and brown, but after seeing that pink on the seam, I started first with um, salt water taffy. And I'm kind of liking uh, this uh, effect the salt water taffy have on this uh, white and um, muted teal background. It's, it's quite striking and I was uh, happy that I chose this color. All the color uh, I'm using right now uh, eventually will dry a little light. Okay, and now that uh, the salt water taffy is dried, I'm going to add some drama on this page. So for that, I am going to start with uh, Payne's Gray. Uh, when I started applying Payne's Gray, I realized that uh, <laughs> it was quite enough for uh, today's page that I later on uh, gave up the idea of using brown on the page. I think I was happy with the combination of blue of different colors, uh, different uh, intensity of blues on the page along with that little hint of pink. So yeah, I just kept it simple. And I am loving the fact that how the Paints gray is getting inside the creases of this uh, crackles and uh, it's giving a very nice peel paint effect to the whole page. 
So that was a surprise. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that because I was concentrating on um, adding a highlight to the texture based design. But um, I had a lot of happy accidents today on this page and I loved them all. <laughs> Okay, everything is now dried and as I said, it will dry a bit lighter. So I'm happy uh, with uh, how it looks right now. And now I will start working on the focal elements and I'm going to create a very uh, simple collage. I don't want to overburden this page because it's already quite busy. And... Uh, Another happy accident is using this temporarized paper left over from some old work. I don't remember which rice paper this is, but this uh, introduction of sepia on the page came as a very um, fresh, uh, uh, I would say, addition to my eyes. And uh, I was quite happy uh, with it. I'm happy with the um, using of this crackle medium. It gives the gave the page a very nice age old uh, peeled look, and uh, definitely going to try it again and again uh, on my art journal. And uh, just to you know uh, introduce the background colors, I have these flowers, small uh, flower again from Little Buddy. So I'm adding them to the corner uh, on the left hand side. <coughs> I added a yellow which is a sort of complementing the color inside the uh, clock, the vintage clock which I have put on the right hand side. And I have uh, selected these two quotes from Tim Hole's small talk sticker booklet. Adding some highlights with charcoal pencil. Uh, it was not working so I realized that the matte medium was not dry so I just dried it. And after that there was no problem in using the charcoal pencil. So on the side where I have collaged the lady, I am using a white uh, marker to uh, give her some highlights and I love uh, this uh, kind of contrast. And guys, this is the page. I am not going to make any edges, I am not going to darken the edges because the paint grey is already giving a very nice dark texture to the page. And here is the close up loving all these details and all the texture and the teal color uh, from the base layer showing up and complementing all the focal elements and uh, the drama that uh, paint screw has created it's it's really lovely and i'm loving it and the, that is giving sort of a peeled paint kind of look to the page and uh, yeah i'm sort of mesmerized and happy with how this page has turned out and i'm really happy with this fussy cutting which i done with the help of my craft knife so guys if you need um, another session from me or for a craft knife on a 250 gsm paper just let me know and i will uh, do a session or a small video on the same 
so that's it guys thank you for watching if you like the video do give it a thumbs up share with friends leave comments below and i'll see you in the next video bye for now